our people, for lack of a better way to put it, siding with the oppressor. You know, mm. I watch, and it pains me, um, black and brown Trump supporters. Mm -hmm. I watch Kanye West, huge fan of his as a rapper, producer, but his politics, I, I don't understand it. This man's wearing a red hat. Now he took the red hat off. He denounced Trump and, you know, he's running for president himself. Like, what is your thoughts on individuals that look like you but side with the oppressor, knowing that there's so much work to be done and all this work that you're fighting for and change for our people and they're working directly against you? Me, you know, there's a quote, you know, that um, everybody that's your skin folk ain't your kin folk, you know, and, and, and that is one of the realest things. A lot of people, like brothers like Kanye, who are educated, right? They're the 10%, you know, and the minister talked about it the other day. He said, there's the 10% who prey on the ignorance of the 85%. You know, they, they, they know that you're ignorant and you don't know, most people don't know anything. They just follow the trend. So they figure out how I can blood suck and capitalize off of it. They, they, it's not about their people. It's about how do I individually capitalize off of something? And Kanye is one of those individuals. He's done it throughout his life. He's attached himself to whatever it was or he became whatever it was that was going to make him relevant at the time, whether it's going completely opposite of what everybody is saying or being at the forefront of what everybody's paying attention to. He's made a living off of that. So siding with the presence to him is, is something that separates him from everybody else. It makes people have to pay attention to him. It makes, he enjoys the attention that comes with it. He's figured out how to profit off of it. And that's what he does. If, if right now he one minute he's he's um I'm a sick fuck I like my dick suck, and then next thing you know he's dropping the gospel album and it's it's church on Sunday he's doing he does whatever it's going to take to get people to talk about him one minute Bush don't like black people and then he's with Trump who who does who's worse than so he has figured out how to galvanize attention you know and that's what a lot of people do and then they're just people who just, they just care about their individual situation. They don't care about the betterment of everybody. Look, me and my family is good, you know, and Trump is going to create these tax breaks that I fit inside that tax break. So I'm supporting Trump. I don't care if 90% of the people don't get none of that or the the, the laws that he's going to implement is going to marginalize 90% of the black people or the, the judges that he's putting into office are, 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 are definitely going to make sure that every little black boy that goes to jail does 20 and 30 years. Because while he's telling you, oh, we, we letting, you know, we doing prison reform because we're going to let the people that got drugs out, but we're going to make, we're going to be so much harder on violence or, or what we call violence. Because I sat in jail for seven to 14 years for some of a, a quote unquote violent crime where nobody was hurt. So now what you do now it's not going to be 7 to 14. It's going to be 14 to 21. Because now that they letting it out to people who they say is nonviolent, they got to keep the people that they quote unquote call violent in there for longer periods of time. They're not opening, you know, they're not opening individual jails, these private prisons. They haven't fluctuated in, you know, when Trump went to office and the, the stocks for private prisons went up 110% by accident. They not you think that they okay we let they not they, they know what they doing this is this is a by plan so now what happens is you just got to stay in there longer we're gonna let these seven thousand people out eight thousand people because those eight thousand people we don't need them we ain't gonna have space in them we're gonna make sure that these kids that come in here fourteen and fifteen because they had a fight and one of them had a knife and we call it gang assault now because everybody who had a fight and it's a gang assault now they got to do forty years. For, so we, we ain't got it, the revolving door. We ain't doing no more installments where you're doing two and three and four years. Now you're doing 40 straight years. So you think you, you did something, you know. And so Trump has tricked you into that and he gave you a stimulus check and you thought everything is good because you, your business fell under the criteria. And they said, look, Trump has done the best for black people. And, and they, they trick you with this dumb shit because he knows how to play the game. 
he's you know he's been around black people his whole life. He's been ab about making money his whole life, so he understands how to make half of you people that think that you got a dollar over lunch meat feel like something is happening because you're willing to sacrifice it for the great. You don't care about everybody else. You just worry about your own personal interests, and and that's what they've done with most of most of the people who support Trump, the blacks who support Trump are only talking about their own personal interest. They say, look, I can get this loan and I can get this and I'm able to do this. Look, it works for me. You know, you ain't worried about, I don't, can't worry about everybody else, you know? And that's how, and it doesn't frustrate me. It's just that I, I'm aware that those people exist. You know, I understand that they, they're not on my side. They don't speak for me, but he'll make sure that they have a platform to continue to, to spew that rhetoric and continue to talk to somebody whose interest is money, because that's what we live in a capitalist society. So capitalism, and people don't realize that capitalism cannot survive without a poor class. It's just impossible. Capitalism is based on the fact that one class of people are going to have nothing, while other people have everything. And that's what it's based on. So as long as the people who, who actually think they got out and made something, or feeling like they, they got something and they don't care about the rest of us is capitalism can continue, you know? So I don't, I don't, I'm not, I understand my enemy. I understand that people that look like me are going to be my enemy. I understand that I'm fighting for people that as I'm, I'm trying to row the boat, they put holes in the boat. And every time I fill one up, they put another hole in it, you know? And, and that's what, that's the reality that most of our civil rights, that's what Malcolm realized. We, you know, that's what Martin realized that most of the people he fighting for was, was attacking him and against him because they didn't even understand the fight. And you touched on so many good things. Um, I almost don't even know where, because there's so many quality points that you brought up, but I guess I'm, I'm going to go, let's talk about Mr. Trump, right? What people don't understand, is he a racist? I believe he is. Mm -hmm. Actions have shown me he is. But more than anything, he's a capitalist. His thing is about classism. And when I see people who look like us, black and brown people, who support this man, it dry, I, I don't understand it, but from a bigger standpoint, him being classes and a capitalist, all <laughs> these white Americans who don't make a certain dollar amount, who are out there supporting and fighting for and waving that flag, make America great again, do y'all understand he would not sit at your kitchen table and eat with you? Because to him, you're beneath him. You, you might as well be black and brown because for him, it is capitalism. And I think back, we talked about Kanye and it's interesting that you really pointed out the distinction between his antics and so many others because he, essentially, it comes down to capitalism. That's right. This is the way I act. I act like this for a reason. It helps to bring a stream of money in whenever I can go against the grain. And if that means selling my own folks out, wearing this red hat, being controversial, saying things that you guys feel is sensationalism, I'm willing to do it. Because ultimately, it's the same motives as Mr. Trump. It all feeds back to my bank account. Wow. What's up guys, thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.